Hi everyone, Annette here from Ask Me Decor. Welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. Today's video is all about Valentine's Day treats. So I came up with three different things that we can make for Valentine's Day, fairly easy. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I went about it. So the first treat we're gonna make is cupcakes. And there's a whole story about these cupcakes. We recently lost our dog. Her name was Sage. She was a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And she was actually our little Valentine because she was born on February 16th. So she was like a little Valentine's Day gift that entered our hearts 10 years ago. And my coworkers sent me the most beautiful remembrance gift and I want to thank them. So the first treat we're going to make is some cupcakes and I'm going to give them a little bit of a puppy Valentine day theme. But so I here's the present they sent me. It's this beautiful like sun catcher ornament. You can hang this in a window. You can hang this on the Christmas tree and it says on it forever in our hearts and it has Sage's name right on there. And I just thought this was such a sweet thing for my coworkers to do for me. In order to thank them, I needed to do something. So we are going to make some cupcakes. I'm gonna show you how I did them in order to make them have a little bit of a puppy Valentine's Day theme. And then we're gonna move on to some other treats. So let's get started on the cupcakes. As we get started making our Valentine's Day cupcakes, I just want to say I am no expert. I think the only word that you could use probably to describe me is brave. I'm brave enough to try it. Sometimes it works out great, sometimes it doesn't. But I'm not afraid to try anything. So here we go with our cupcakes. I am using a box cake. And in order to spruce it up a little bit and make it taste a little bit more homemade, I add one box of instant chocolate pudding. As I mix this, I do want to say the box says mix it for two minutes on a medium to high speed and believe me, do that. It will aerate the batter and it'll make your cupcakes more fluffy and people will rave about them. People will actually think they came from a bakery. For the next recipe, I looked to Pinterest for some inspiration on how to make it, what kind of chocolate to use, how long to leave it in the oven, and this is what I found. Our second Valentine's Day treat is going to be chocolate bark. And believe me, Pinterest had about a million different recipes for chocolate bark. They're all beautiful and they all were very easy to make. So I got started with my chocolate bark by lining a casserole dish with some parchment paper. Then I took four Hershey's candy bars. This is plain milk chocolate and I lined them up inside the casserole dish. The candy that I'm going to use to decorate my chocolate bark is red, white, and pink M&Ms, some sweethearts, and some sprinkles. Now you're going to put that in the oven at 200 for 8 minutes. While the chocolate bark is melting, I decided to get my Oreo cookies ready for the cupcakes. The recipe called for cutting the Oreo cookies in half to make the puppy's ears. This was a terrible idea. It went badly. More cookies broke than anything, but I persevered. Meanwhile, my chocolate bark was melted and I forgot to hit the record button to show you how I sprinkled the candy on the chocolate. I took a toothpick, swirled it through the chocolate to get rid of the Hershey logo and sprinkled it with candy and it was done. Then I got busy icing the cupcakes. I have some Oreo cookies ready and some chocolate morsels that we're going to use to make the first few cupcakes look like they have paw prints on them. So what you're going to do is first icing the cupcake with the white icing. Then you're going to take your Oreo cookie and put it to the lower edge of the top of your cupcake. 
Then surround the top with about four chocolate morsels turned upside down and poked into the icing. These cupcakes are gonna look like they have little paw prints on them. We are going to have to do a little bit of piping on our cupcakes and for this I used a $4 piping kit that I got at the dollar store. I'm going to fill that bag with some chocolate icing now and we're going to get ready to do the next set of puppy cupcakes. So first we're going to icing these cupcakes with the chocolate icing. Then we're going to pipe a nice big round ball of icing on the lower edge of the top of that cupcake. Then we're going to use the two halves of the Oreo cookie to look like the puppy's ears. We're going to put on some googly eyes. These are candy eyes that I also got at the dollar store. And then on top of that big mound of icing, we're going to put a chocolate covered raisin and that totally looks like a little puppy snoot. For the next four cupcakes, we're going to use the star tip that came in the piping kit to cover the top of the cupcake. Now we're going to make another big round ball of icing at the bottom edge. We're going to swirl some ears on either side of that cupcake. And then he too will get some eyes and a chocolate covered raisin for his snoot. Just look at him. Could he be any cuter? So now I colored some white icing pink and I'm going to use one of the bags that came in the piping kit to pipe on some little hearts on each cupcake. On the ones that look like paw prints, I'm going to put the heart right on top of the Oreo cookies and on the puppies, I'm going to put the heart close to one of their ears. They're going to look great. Now again, I'm going to say it, I'm no expert and these aren't perfect, but I was not afraid to try it and I'm happy with the way they look and I'm going to feel really good sending these off to my coworkers. This big round tray was one that I saved after a party and I'm going to line it with a piece of pink tissue paper. Once I got the whole tray filled with the cupcakes, I filled the whole outer edge in with Valentine's candy. There were popsicles and candy bars and sweethearts. Then I got busy on breaking up my chocolate bark. This was so satisfying to break it up into bite-sized pieces and add them to the tray going all around the cupcakes. It added color. It was so, so cute.
The third treat is going to be Valentine pastry. And for this, you're going to need crescent rolls. I actually used two rolls and a can of cherry pie filling. <music> Once you get all your crescent roll dough spread out, you need to pinch all the edges closed so that it's just like one big sheet of dough. I actually pressed it down a little bit with my rolling pin just to make sure that the dough was as even as I could get it. Then I took this little heart shape and cut out some hearts to put on top of my pastry. I took a sharp knife and cut out nine even squares out of that sheet of dough. You can also use a pizza cutter to do this. Now it's time to assemble these. So take one square of dough, place one tablespoon of the cherry pie filling right in the middle, and then you are going to fold up three of the points right towards the middle and put a little heart on top of them. You get the picture here, I think. It's looking like a little envelope. These are going to be baked according to the package directions, which was 375 for 12 minutes. Once my little envelope pastries were cool, I took the leftover white icing from the cupcakes. I heated it in the microwave for about 10-15 seconds and drizzled it on top of each pastry. And again, I'm going to say it, these little pastries aren't perfect, but they taste great and I put a lot of love in them. So my advice to you is, don't be afraid to try it. Go ahead, your family, your loved ones, they're going to appreciate it, trust me. That's going to do it for Valentine's Day treats. I hope you got some great ideas and I hope you're going to try to do them for your Valentine's Day. Now would be a great time to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just ask me and I can't wait to see you in the next video.